Well, a film called Died Suddenly premiered last night on Twitter and claimed to quote, present the truth about the greatest ongoing mass genocide in human history. And lo and behold, here's a whole listing of people, of articles of people within the, that last week who died suddenly. Older people, but a lot of younger people throughout around the world. And then you find out they were vaccinated. So the movie, which was largely about anti-vaccine conspiracy theories, shows headlines and stories of people dying suddenly, but never really provides much concrete scientific evidence linking COVID-19 vaccines to all of these sudden deaths. Joining us now to talk about the harm widespread misinformation like this can cause, especially in healthcare, is Dr. Amit Arya. Dr. Arya, this film spends much of its runtime suggesting that many people have been dying suddenly after getting COVID-19 vaccines. Is this true? Yeah, so absolutely not. Uh, we know that the vaccine remains an incredibly effective tool to protecting people um, against COVID-19, especially uh, to protect people from the chances of hospitalization and from dying from COVID-19. Uh, in its first year alone, actually, the COVID-19 vaccine has been estimated to have, been, to have saved 20 million lives just in the first year uh, of the pandemic. And of course, I will emphasize here, vaccines are not a perfect solution, but they are part of the solution at this phase of the pandemic to keeping us all safe and protecting our healthcare system. But sudden deaths did happen, tragically, of course, uh, even before COVID-19. But, the, you know, basically the evidence we have right now shows us that it's not the vaccine, it's COVID and the complications of COVID that increase the risk of sudden death. Now, the film premiered on Twitter, and we know that since taking over the company, new CEO Elon Musk has fired the people in charge of content moderation. So when misinformation like this is allowed to spread widely and unchecked, how can that cause harm in the healthcare sector? Well, you know, as someone who's worked on the front lines of the healthcare crisis and, the, you know, on the front lines of the pandemic in hospitals and in long-term care homes, I've sadly seen the, you know, the impact of that misinformation firsthand. Uh, I've seen situations where, you know, someone would not allow their loved one uh, who lived in long-term care where, you know, very, very vulnerable people live, uh, you know, they would not allow their loved one to get vaccinated because they were so worried and scared about the impact of the vaccine rather than being actually scared about the impact of COVID-19. But it's very, very sad to see because many of these deaths were preventable. And I wish our governments did a lot at, you know, at this point, at this phase of the pandemic to fix the messaging around where we're at, what people need to do, and also to combat misinformation. And Dr. Arya, how do you suggest people do their own research if they are concerned or want to know more before getting any vaccine? Yeah, so that's a great question, and I definitely have some tips around that. Uh, firstly, I wanted to just re-emphasize that I think, you know, part of the reason that we're seeing so much misinformation spread is, uh, you know, of course, because of social media, but also because there is a complete void of science-based, accurate information being provided by the government. And in fact, I would actually say that the entire pandemic has been a science communications failure. Uh, I simply don't understand why governments, uh, whether it's municipal, provincial, or federal, did not invest a lot more money into sort of, once again, a positive, culturally safe, language-specific, science-based um, communication strategy, and also you know, um, what our risks are. I also feel that at this point in time, you know, people have been told to do their own individual risk assessment, but, you know, simply put, they don't know how to do that and that information hasn't been provided. So number one, I mean, what can you do if you're worried about this and you want to know about proper information? Of course, you should speak to your, you know, you should speak to your physician or your nurse practitioner, your primary care provider. Um, I do think that there are government resources which you can look up um, to find out about accurate information around the pandemic. Uh, unambiguous science, you can Google up an unambiguous science, uh, which is a sort of a science communications project around many common questions that people have around vaccines. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Aria. Thank you so much. My pleasure.